Hi everyone, this is Mrs Young reading for the Young Reader and today's story is Elmer and Wilbur, written by David McKee. Elmer, the patchwork elephant, was waiting for his cousin Wilbur, who was coming to visit. He's late, said Elmer. Maybe he's lost. Let's go and look for him. What does Wilbur look like? asked an elephant. Wait and see, <laughs> chuckled Elmer. But be careful. Wilbur likes to play tricks, especially with his voice. He's a ventriloquist. He can make his voice sound as if it is coming from a different place than where he is. From anywhere. This is fun! said an elephant as they started to search. It's like hide and seek. Suddenly they heard, Yo ho, Elma, I'm over here. They rushed to where the voice came from. Looking for me? asked a rather surprised tiger. Sorry, said Elmer. We thought you were my cousin. Mm, very funny, Elmer, said the tiger. Maybe that's your cousin, I hear shouting. Help, called the voice. Help, I've fallen in the pond. He has, he has, I can see him said an elephant. Silly, said Alma. That's your own reflection. Keep looking. He's near, but not where his voice is. They kept looking, but the voice kept coming from different places. Here I am, it called, or boo, to make them jump. It even came from down a rabbit hole. The rabbits popped out like popcorn. That's not funny, they said. Not funny at all. That's very silly. After a lot of searching, an elephant said, We'll never find him, Alma. Let's give up. Wilbur! called Alma. We give up. You can come out now. I can't. I'm stuck up a tree, Wilbur's voice said from above them. The elephants giggled. He's very clever, said one. If you don't come, said Alma, we'll have to go home without you. I really am stuck up a tree, said Wilbur's voice. The elephants giggled again. Elma, said an elephant, is Wilbur black and white? Yes. Why? said Elma. I peeked, said the elephant. He really is stuck up a tree. They all looked. There was Wilbur, up a tree. Wilbur, gasped Alma. How did you get up there? Never mind how I got up. How do I get down? said Wilbur. I've no idea, said Alma. But we're hungry, so we're going home for supper. At least we know where you are now. Goodbye, Wilbur. See you tomorrow. With that, Elma started to lead the other elephants away. Oh, Elma, called Wilbur. Don't leave me. I'm starving. Ha ha ha. I was just teasing, 
laughed Elmer, turning back to Wilbur. If you walk along the branch, it will bend down with your weight and we can help you down. Wilbur walked slowly along the branch. The branch began to bend down. When the elephants could reach it, they pulled it the rest of the way and helped Wilbur off. Thanks, said Wilbur. Now where's that supper you were talking about? Then laughing and joking together, they raced all the way home. That night, as they lay down to sleep, Elmer said, Good night, Wilbur. Good night, Moon. A voice that seemed to come from the moon said, Good night, elephants. Sweet dreams. Elmer smiled and whispered, Wilbur, how did you get up that tree? But Wilbur was already fast asleep. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed that story, then please remember to click the like button below. Also, subscribe to my channel now so you can easily find other stories read aloud by me, Mrs. Young for the young reader.